Welcome back. Going into week six in Idaho High School football, and there is just one team in our area that stands head and shoulders above the rest. Coeur d'Alene's lowest margin of victory coming into tonight was 27 points. Post Falls was the Vikings' latest victim this evening. First quarter action after a surgical drive. Jack Perka takes it to the left side for an easy one-yard scamper. Vikings go up 7-0. Trojans not about to fold, going for it on fourth down later in the quarter, and they get more than what they bargained for as Jackson Anderson finds Tommy Hauser over the middle. And the Trojans tied up at seven, but the Vikings can score in bunches and they would score the last 41 points of this game. Perka keeps the play alive. Isaiah Griffin hits the B button. Nice spin. It was 14-7 after that. The route was on. CDA takes it 48-7. to Rivalry down on the Palouse this evening. Moscow hosting Lewiston. We head to the second half. The Bears take a 21-14 lead as University of Utah bound. Jonah Ellis gets the corner. Lewiston does answer back. Cash Lang doesn't have to search hard for Jared Granger here. Nobody home there. Easy tutty. The Bears come out victorious, though, 28-7. To 20. Homecoming at Lake City where Sandpoint took a 13-6 lead into the locker room. Second half, a much different story. After a quiet third quarter, the T-Wolves strike. Chris Urban up top to Zach Johnson. Great throw and catch. T-Wolves down one with nine to play, so they elect to go for two. Urban rolls out, comes back across his body. Jace Bowman with the catch. Lake City taking a 14-3 lead. Under three minutes to go, and the T-Wolves get a little breathing room. Urban again. This time to Porter Howard for the score. Lake City pitches a shutout in the second half as they come back to win it 21 to 13. Lakeland and Timberlake squaring off for the second time this season. This game got wild. Early fourth quarter, Timberlake up 7-6. Ash and Padel finds a stretched out Carton for Carter Forden for the touchdown. Tigers miss the PAT, so up 13 to 6. Lakeland had a response in a big one. John White, yeah, that's that's a pretty decent hole there. And all he's going to see is greener pastures. The, the Hawks tie things up at 13 under a minute to go. Just after Lakeland turned the ball over on downs, Alden Waddington gets the interception, sets up Lakeland in great field position. Next play, 37 seconds to go. Devin Suko launches to the end zone. Ammon Munyar comes up with the catch. That's your game-winning touchdown. Lakeland rallies to win 20-13. to 13.